Hey guys, so uh, I'm working on the uh, electronics again. Uh, it's been going a little bit slow because I've been kind of slack, but nevertheless. Um, been soldering up the uh, the uh, little uh, stepper controller boards. These are the higher current ones. Uh, this stuff is uh, is water soluble or as uh, soldering solder with water soluble flux. Um, I bought that quite a while ago, but uh, I imagine most any electronic shop will uh, will have it. And the advantage of that is that you can uh, clean the uh, the flux off the boards with uh, with just you know standard water. You're supposed to use uh, uh, distilled water, but I've you know always used just tap water. And I've never had a problem with it. Um, what I'm what else I'm working on is this, and this is the proto board. For uh, it's actually a proto shield, I should say, and it's made by Spark Fun. And I just wanted to mention one thing about it that's kind of important. Um, and this only means something to the electronics guys, but uh, what Spark Fun did when they laid out this board was all these pins are isolated, right? But all the way around it, they surrounded each pin with ground plane. Now, normally it wouldn't be that big a deal, but if you scratch through the solder mask on here, the red solder mask, um, potentially you can short one of those pins to the ground plane. And guess how I figured that out? Well, I figured that out with the old one. When I did a little bit of rework on the board, when I changed out a relay, um, by mistake I went and I stuck a latching relay in there and that wasn't going to do me any good. Uh, and, of course, when I desoldered it, scraped the solder mask, and suddenly I was having a dead short on my board, and I couldn't figure out what was going on. And then finally I figured out that, oh yeah, ground plane all around there. So just a little precaution when you're working with these boards. Um, I would prefer it not be that way, but uh, that's the way they did it. Anyways, I'm going to solder this up, and that's probably it for tonight. Um, I have some other plans here. Oh, I'll show you. This is the case that I'm going to use for uh, uh, the uh, uh, you know the whole setup. It's way bigger than it ever would need to be. It's an old hard drive case. I picked it up at the University of Waterloo, one of their junk sales, and paid a fair bit for it. But uh, it's got a good uh, power supply in it, fan, and there was a hard drive in it, even though it's an old one, two gigabyte SCSI one. But nevertheless. Um, it should work very well for me. Nice solid metal case, should be good shielding against any RFI. I got a bunch of toroids and I'm going to do some uh, pretty heavy duty isolation work. Um, I've got some shielded cable, four wire shielded cable for the stepper motors as well as if I decide to put the limit switches in. So, uh, so we should be good to go. Uh, I'm also going to play around a little bit with some other stuff. Um, I'd love to for this to be an isolated unit because there's not much advantage to having a laptop out there to control this thing if uh, you know if it's you know well you know I got to dedicate a laptop to that and I had some other ideas because all you're doing is you're just pushing uh, a file out to uh, out to this you know GRBL controller and uh, so I picked up one of these as well, which is an SD card uh, socket, and I've got this. I know it's boring to just kind of just wave the camera around a little bit, but it's a uh, small uh, display. It's actually in the form of uh, once again an Arduino shield, and. Uh, it's a small touch screen display, about three and a half inches. Here. I'll put the camera down for a second there. And uh, I'll show it to you. And basically it's a small touch screen display. And what I was figuring I would do is I would dedicate another one of these Arduinos to connect to the display and it in turn would drive the the original motor controller Arduino to, to the uh, stepper uh, motor stuff, and uh, all I do is I just have it, you know, do have a very simple interface to say, you know, like grab this file off of the SD card, 
and write it out to the Arduino or to the uh, GRBL motor controller. But at first, I'm going to just work with the uh, with the uh, uh, you know like the PC just to get everything working. But this is uh, the plan in the future here, and I should have plenty of room on the front of this to mount this. Uh, well, it remains to be seen how sensitive this will be to you know like any of the glitching that's going on. Um, I am going to do a extensive testing before I even connect up any of this, the semiconductor components like these you know motor driver boards because I don't want to blow up another set. And I'm going to use some isolation that uh, another uh, uh, member recommended. And I'll just give him quick credit quickly. I'll just click on inbox here. Um, he's a retired, as I recall, a retired uh, guy who worked for uh, um, Bosch. Anyways, it's uh, the guy who was, uh, gave me a lot of good suggestions on how to isolate the uh, the uh, the RF uh, spikes that are probably causing me the problem. And that was a TPA six one two zero A two DWP. Uh, thanks a lot. He's been giving me a lot of suggestions and was quite responsive to any of my questions there. Um, I am an electrical engineer, but uh, that's really only in name. You know, for most of the time I've been working, I've worked as a computer programmer. So my electronics experience is more of from a hobbyist perspective than uh, than from an actual design perspective. Anyways, I suppose I'm just rambling a bit. Um, so I'm going to put this stuff away, solder up this board, and then I'll probably knock off for the night. I've got to make a little rack uh, that'll fit inside this unit. To support these things, this is all fan cooled as well. That's another nice thing about it, and it does. I think I said it already, but it has an integrated power supply. Even though I won't use that for driving the motors, but I'll grab another laptop power supply if I can get one for cheap. Anyways, uh, just a little quick update. Well, not that quick. Seven minutes, fourteen, fifteen seconds. Um, so I'll let you guys go for the night. Thanks for watching, guys.